is a survivalist gooseneck that we had a customer design that we built for him. Turned out really nice. It's got the Kensington maple ball color and it's got a queen bed here over the gooseneck. It's got the dinette table storage in both of those benches. The big long bench has storage all the way through it. We've got the horseshoe accents and then one there under the big cabinet above the sink. He went with the black aluminum trim all over for durability and it also looks really nice. We've got our traditional brown plaid curtains in here. He's got a nice big countertop for his kitchen with some a bank of drawers and some storage under the sink and a great big pantry that will hold quite a bit. Then he's got the double, or the, sorry, our large bathroom. Then on this side, he has got a big closet here. And we'll go look at that bed area in just a minute. But then he's got a place for a microwave and a six cubic foot fridge. It does have the tank heater, so you've got some switches there for that. Um, his gas light his three burner cooktop with the oven. That down there is his converter and then some more storage. Nice, nice counter stop space. And then he went with the large wood stove and he's got the silver aluminum trim as behind any of the heat sources. He does have the forced air furnace so it's got heat ducting in the floor. And then back here, he wanted another queen bed at the back. Um, and he wanted a twin bunk above. So he's got his headboard there like we do a lot. And then he's got a nightstand here with a, another bank of drawers and a little storage under the bed. That's his access to the shower head and hose if he ever needs to change that. And then we've got a couple shelves here and some more horseshoe accents. So he could really sleep about seven in here pretty easily. If he needs to, maybe eight, depending on how big they are. We've got our variegated floor here. It's sheet vinyl, but it looks like plank wood. Um, cleans up really nice, easy to take care of. It does have the 12 volt TV with the DVD player. And he's got the stereo and you can see that light come through the curtain. That's his amplified antenna. And then it has the side entry door. This does have a lot of storage in it. The upper cabinet will hold quite a bit. This pantry will pull, hold a lot. And then some of this under the sink storage, he can rearrange as he needs to. And then he's got his bank of drawers. Put some shelves in under the sink or whatever he wants. But this one we just left open. We can build some other things in if needed. On this side, we've got another cabinet for storage. And of course, his large wood box that sits under his wood stove. Here we've got either cabinet space or place for a microwave. And then he did go with this big closet with a lot of storage underneath. For as many as he can hold in here, 
probably needs even a little bit bigger closet than that. He does have the side table here by the bed that's got a bank of drawers in it. The headboard will hold quite a bit of storage there. And then he can use that as an up bunk or he can put some storage up there depending on how he's using it and who's using it at the time. And then it's got a little set of shelves, decorative shelves that seem kind of empty right there. So they put some shelves in for him. We do have the large bathroom here. It's got our regular shower. It's 24 by 32. This one's got the accordion door. You can do just a shower curtain or a glass door. I don't love the glass door. It may not hold up over time. Um, it does have the RV toilet and he does have the tank heaters and extra protection on his waste tanks. And then he's got a lot of extra storage here with the sink and vanity. So a nice big bathroom to use. And you'll notice the pink, it has been winterized um, so that he can just come and get this and take it away and then be ready to use it in the spring. Thank you.